From the home of the Spirit Courts, Book and I took South Africa. Now there were various occurrences of the Spirit Courts, various different, different forms. Typically you had a central quartz crystal surrounded by smaller ones, but on some sections you had the, these plates as you see here. And quite interesting when you look from the top down, I always say when you look into these crystals, almost around the outside edges, you have a color concentration and that gets propagated right through. So you have a lovely dark amethyst and then associated or running through it is this reddishness which would be some iron oxides or hematite inclusions in the amethyst. All the way, of course, from the home of the spirit quartz, Book and I took South Africa. Lesser known material, um, this, this would be from the uh, 1990s, late 1990s, this material came out. Let's have a go around the side. So sideways view, very much like a Brazilian amethyst, not quite as lustrous, but when you look in it here, quite, quite fascinating, these uh, uh, patterning around the outside edges of the crystals. All the way from South Africa, uh, Spirit Courts, from the home of the Spirit Courts, Bukina took South Africa. From a display point of view, this is suitable for a stationary display. I think this, this whole top section is absolutely contact free. It looks a little bit dull as I do the videos. It's actually quite a bright and lustrous piece um, when held in hand. It's one of those best, best enjoyed when held in hand.